Shiani. I'm an associate at the lecturer here at KU, and what we're going to do uh, here is, is have some comments first by our athletic director, Lou Perkins, uh, and then from our new head football coach. So having said that, uh, I'll turn it over to uh, Lou Perkins, the athletic director at the University of Kansas. Thank you, Jim. Can everybody hear me? Is that okay? Uh, first of all, thank you for coming this morning. And I really do want to thank the media. Uh, obviously, it was uh, interesting, uh, 10 days or so. And I think everybody was great and well respecting what we were trying to do. And I know there was all kinds of rumors and all kinds of things out there, but, but I really appreciate everybody's uh, you know, letting us do our job and doing it the right way. And uh, obviously, uh, the outcome is something that I'm extremely pleased about. Uh, I'm going to do something unusual today uh, because something happened yesterday that was really, really, in all my 41 years of college athletics, I've never had this happen before. And I'm going to ask Brad Thorson, our offensive lineman, to come up and uh, read something that he received yesterday. Not that I received, but he received from a young man, a young football player at Buffalo. Uh, a senior at Buffalo, and that uh, somehow or other he got Brad's uh, the mobile phone, you text Brad, and I've asked Brad to read this note that he received yesterday. So Brad, you can do that one. Uh, I'll give it a shot. Um, <laughs> when uh, having a new coach coming in, uh, I think we're all a bit skeptical, but uh, the other day uh, I went on Facebook and I had a message. Um, don't usually get a whole lot of those. And it was from uh, a player at Buffalo, and, and it absolutely shocked me. Uh, I forwarded it to so many people that um, it finally got to uh, Athletic Director Perkins and, and he asked me to come up here and read it and uh, um, it was very candid and uh, it's it's been incredible and, and it reads, hey, I just wanted to say you guys over at KU, um, you're getting a great football coach and, sorry I'm having trouble here, uh, and you keep your worries minimal. I know that this transition doesn't come off good parting terms with your former coach. And I know change can be scary, a scary thing, um, sometimes not knowing what you're really getting. But the same was the case when I was a freshman back in 2005, and Coach Gill was just as new to me as he is going to be to you. Now I'm a senior, and he has transformed everything we do here at Buffalo, how we carry ourselves, how we view the game of football, and how we view ourselves as football players. If he has taught me anything here at UB, it is to believe. Believe in ourselves, believe in this program, and believe in each other. His philosophy and style will always be to treat each one of you guys as people first and players second. He's going to help you use football as a catalyst to better yourselves in your life right now and after football. Keep your minds and hearts open to everything he has to offer. I'll leave you guys with one last thought from our mission statement. UB stands for You Believe, that Coach Kill implemented when he first arrived here. Each letter of the word believe stood for what this program was going to be about. The letter B was for belief in each other and the things not yet seen. We believe and it has taken us to great... I've hired other coaches and uh, I, I, I've never heard of anything like that. And I think that Brad said it, it, it speaks so much volume from what he's doing. Before I introduce him, I'd like to introduce him extremely. And uh, I got to say something I'd like to do again. Gail. This is Gail Gill, and she is obviously the wife of Turner. Thank you very much. Right. This is one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. This is Jordan Gill. She is a sophomore here at the University of Kansas. And, uh, really a special young lady. <laughs> this is Margot Gill. She's uh, in high school and she'll be coming to Lawrence and we're trying to figure out what high school she's going to go to. <laughs> I'm staying out of that. <laughs> you know, uh, it was a very interesting process and, uh, and we interviewed some great, great people. And, I, I really believe in, in, in the heart of all my heart that uh, I, there is no question that we found the person 
Paul, what, who we needed to coach our football team at this particular time. Uh, for those of you who don't, don't know me, I, I am uh, a great music guy, especially a 60s guy. I love music and I listen to the music. And it was really interesting uh, coming in this morning. I went to pick up uh, Turner this morning. And the song came on and it was called Magic Moment. Do you remember that by the drift? There's only certain people at a certain age. <laughs> and and, and I, I started to think driving in, you know, this is a magic moment at the University of Kansas. It's a magic moment for our football team. And I'm so excited. And, and I have all kinds of things about Turner, you know, the fact that he won a conference title at Buffalo, and you know, we helped Nebraska win three national championships. He was a runner-up uh, Heisman Trophy winner himself. Uh, he he uh, coached the he Heisman Trophy winner and Eric Couch in the All-American and Tommy Frazier. Uh, it goes on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, and, but for the things that we were looking for, we were looking for somebody who has passion for the game of football. We were looking for somebody who has passion for people. We were looking for somebody who who understood the Big 12, and we looked for somebody who could recruit, obviously, Texas and Oklahoma and all the other areas that we recruit, but, but also the fact that he can recruit nationally. Uh, I really believe, personally, uh, and I'm confident by everybody I've talked to throughout the country, Turn Gill can go into any home and have an opportunity to recruit any player in the country. I really, really, really believe that. Uh, I've known Turner for seven years. I have talked to everybody in the country. I, I can't tell you how many people I've talked to. Everybody that I've talked to said to me, you cannot be close to the term of the He is, I don't want to say the next great star in coaching, because he is already a great star in coaching. He's a phenomenal person. Obviously, he knows football as well as anybody. He's a great people person. And uh, somebody that I personally respect tremendously, long before we had even thought about Turner coming here. And, uh, I met Turner about three or four years ago, and we just connected them. And, and, uh, I, I'm just so excited about him coming here and being part of it. Jay Hawk, uh, he's 